Shalom Eastern Shore. I am Rabbi David Tokajer with Congregation Maim Chaim, the Eastern Shore's Messianic Synagogue, and I am bringing you your daily dose of living water. This evening, at sundown, we begin the observance of Shavuot, one of the Moedim, or appointed days, that Adonai commanded Israel. It is one of the Shalosh Regalim, or the three pilgrimage feasts, which required Israel to journey to the temple to celebrate and bring offerings. It is also the culmination of the seven weeks or 49 days of counting the Omer, Shavuot being the 50th day. These seven weeks are to be counted with great expectation and anticipation of what the Lord has in store on Shavuot, as biblically, Shavuot is a day of great revelation of the presence and power of God. Shavuot is the day on which Adonai revealed his Shekhinah, his divine presence, to all of Israel at Mount Sinai in Exodus 19 and 20. It is the day on which the entire nation of Israel heard the audible voice of the Lord speak forth the Aseret Hadibrot, the Ten Words, also known as the Ten Commandments. Commandments. As a matter of fact, throughout the Jewish world today, it is common to commemorate this evening with Tikkun Leil Shavuot, which is an all-night reading uh, and study of the Torah on Shavuot. In the Septuagint, which is the Tanakh, translated into Koine Greek for Hellenized Jews leading up to the first century, the word for Shavuot is Pentecoste, meaning 50, as in we count 49 days and on the 50th day is Shavuot. It is from the Greek word Pentecoste that we get the English word Pentecost, as in the events of Acts chapter 2. See, what many believers today may be unaware of is that the reason the word Pentecost is used is because the events of Acts chapter 2 occurred on the Jewish feast of Shavuot. Beginning with Acts chapter 2 verse 1, we read from the Tree of Life version, When the day of Shavuot had come, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. And tongues like fire spreading out appeared to them and settled on each one of them. They were all filled with the Ruach HaKodesh and began to speak in other tongues as the Ruach enabled them to speak out. In most traditional English translations, it will say Pentecost instead of Shavuot. But it is important to understand that Pentecost and Shavuot are the same thing. Equally important is the realization that the events that occurred on Shavuot in Acts chapter 2 are a prophetic realization and fulfillment of the events of Shavuot in Exodus 19 and 20. If you read of the revelation of the presence and Bakol, or the voice of Adonai, at Mount Sinai and compare it to Acts 2 in Jerusalem, you'll notice some very powerful correlations between the two. Fire upon the mountain and tongues of fire upon the disciples. The shofar blast at Mount Sinai and the sound of a mighty rushing wind in Acts chapter 2, the audible voice of God which all could understand in Exodus 20, and the disciples speaking in tongues which all could understand just to name a few. For the past 49 days, we have been counting the Omer in great expectation and anticipation of Shavuot, a day in which the power and presence of God is revealed to his people. As we observe Shavuot beginning this evening, may we approach it with the same expectation, with a yearning and desire to encounter the presence of God, to experience a fresh outpouring of the Ruach HaKodesh. And may we see many people turn their hearts to Messiah because of his revelation in us, just as we see towards the end of Acts 2. Shalom.